Yo there guys, what is up Loot Gamers here and today we are playing Terraria Xbox One Edition and today we are continuing our adventure in this wonderful world of mine. But first, I've got a massive shout out to give out to Arconauts and Arconauts is an awesome guy. If you don't know him, go and subscribe. I'll leave a link in the description. You can go check him out. He has some awesome videos over there. So do go check him out guys. He has an awesome channel and he's been promoting my channel through his videos. Really appreciate that. So big thanks to him and if he sees this then... Big thank you to you. So today we're going to go on a mage trip and make a load of mage items to become a good mage. Now we already have the armor. I think we have the uh, defensive armor, if I'm right. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'm totally wrong, but we have it down here anyway. Let's go check. Here we are. Right, okay, cool. We can take all this. Boom, boom, boom. So we have the hood, which is indeed, if I remember rightly, the attacking set. Yeah, it does 40% decrease magic damage. Okay. <laughs> I don't think that's what it actually does. I think they've just got that on there wrong. 40% decreased magic damage. Is it supposed to have that? Is it because it's too OP or what? I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't know what that's all about. But I think that's uh, something that's not supposed to have on there. But I don't know. Who knows? We don't know. But until then, we'll find out next time. But we do have some things up here too. I believe I put a few magic things up here. Yes, I've got the murderous blizzard stuff. And, ooh, I don't know. I was going to make some wings, but I think I'm going to keep these ones. I was going to make some spooky, no, not spooky wings, the uh, spectre wings. So it would fit in with a set, but I think I'm going to stick with my standard one that I've got. I'm going to put these in here for now. There we go. And just for now, we're going to swap these over. Beautiful. And we're going to put the mage items on. Here we go. That's one. Well, where are we? <laughs> I'm losing where I am here. Two and three. There we go. So I also have some things in my inventory so that I can make a better mage loadout overall, pretty much. So I have got the regeneration band, which I'm going to mix with the shackle, I believe, to make the magic, magic cuffs, I think. I don't know. And then I'm going to make this celestial emblem, celestial magnet with those to make the celestial cuffs. Which would be pretty good. I was going to go for the Avenger Emblem too. But, if I remember correctly, the things don't stack. So there's no point of having both of them. You might as well have one or the other. Because, well, if they don't stack, there's literally no point of having them. So, we're going to kick off with that. And let's go to our Tinker's Workbench. Here we go. See if we can find what we need. Where are we? Right, okay. So we've got the Magic Cuts there. Boom. Now we have the magic cuffs, we should be able to make the celestial emblem? Or the celestial cuffs even? Right, where are we? We're going to be faster to swap back. There we go. Right, celestial cuffs. There we go. I don't actually know what they do. I just thought they're a mage item. Why not? So it increases pickup for mana stars and restores mana when damaged. So that's actually pretty cool. Makes you pretty much invincible. So we're going to go ahead and put that there. Diamond ring. There's this, you know, <laughs> I don't know, why have I got a diamond ring on? Did I, did I plan to get married? No. Right, okay. We're not going to have the diamond ring anyway. I mean, that's useless. I don't even know why I carry that around with me. Is there reasoning behind that? I don't know. But we do need to buy a magic mana potion anyway, uh, so we can make the mana flower because, well, I just couldn't find my way. They look awesome. The, the, those cuffs look amazing. Right, we, we, we forgot to, oh, right. Turtle armor in our vanity. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Right. We're going to go grab our vanity back because for some reason I've swapped it out like a derp. You know the derp I am, guys. If you've watched me for a while, you know I'm a complete derp. So here we go. Right. This skirt going straight back in there. And we'll come and pick this up later. There we go. Lovely. Beautiful. We've got the uh, mana potions as well before we forget because last time I went out with all those, those bad boys and completely forgot. And pretty much got annihilated. So, yeah. <laughs> that's a bit of a mess. Right. Okay. That's good. We don't need the chlorophy anymore. Nope. And we do have the nature's gift to make the one, the only, mana flower. But we do need to get a normal mana potion. I don't know why it don't work with every mana potion. Because, well, you just need a mana potion, to be honest. But, anyway. Let's get into that and make ourselves a mana flower. But before that... We do need to head over to... Ooh, who, who are we heading over to here then? I think it's the merchant, right? Think. 
Where is he? Is he hiding out in my world? Yeah, I thought as much. I thought it'd be up here. I mean, it's quite a big world now. I'm thinking of making some more builds soon. I'm actually gonna get a build, which is very, very Arcanauts inspired. It's made out, well, I mean, it was like, it's like a, not a memorial, but a, you know, when you just pay respect to someone where, oh, I can't think of the word now. Oh, it was in my head just a minute ago. Completely gone now. Um, But yeah, just like a, out of gratitude, I guess, just say a big thank you to him. But I'm gonna build that uh, in the next time. But we've got a mana potion there. Don't know if we need a normal mana potion or if this lesser one will work. But I'm pretty sure you're supposed to be able to buy the bigger mana potions in hard mode. I don't know. I thought you could. Who knows? Maybe it's the wizard that sells them. Yeah, we're going to have to get a normal mana potion, which uh, we can make one. What is it to make one? Let's take a look. So we're going to go down here. Boop, boop, boop. We just need a magic potion. Mana potion even. Mana regeneration potion. No. We just need a normal mana potion. We should be somewhere around here, right? Yeah, mana potion. Two mana potions and one. Right, here we go. Brrrp. Let's buy another one then. And then all we need to do is get a mushroom and we should be all good. There we go. We've already got our alchemy station. So let's uh, look out for a mushroom now. We should be able to find one no problem anyway. Like, I have mushrooms all over the place, and as I say that, I'll have no mushrooms, you watch. You watch me have, like, no mushrooms anywhere. Yep, no mushrooms there. Probably got about, uh, past about 50 by now, but it's okay. I was so confident that I had mushrooms in here. I don't know why. I was just so confident that I did, but I don't. I really don't. I don't know. I don't know. I, I think I have things everywhere, and let's go over... To the messiest chests in the world. I think I deserve a medal for this. Okay, before we do that, let's just double, double check in here first. Nope. We don't have any in there. Right. While we're on the lookout for a mushroom, we will also be on the lookout for a mana potion. Here we go. Right. We found the mushroom for it. Boom. There we go. Now, let's go make a normal mana potion and make this mana flower. Then, we'll go and kill some planteras because, like Arkanauts said earlier... He is actually struggling to get the axe as well. I don't have the axe. He don't have the axe. So we've got a very, <laughs> a lot of, <laughs> I'd say a lot of things in common. But it really, not finding a plantar axe. No, I don't think that's, uh, that, that passes really, does it? Right, okay. So we do need bottled water as well, don't I? No? Wait a minute. Oh, because you make it in the, that makes sense. You make it in the actual potion. I was like, wait, do we need bottled water or not? We didn't need bottled water, so that's good. And now, we should be able to... Yeah, mana flower. There we go, buddy. Beautiful. Now, all we've got to do is swap out. But I don't know what to swap out exactly. Like, do we swap out the ninja gear, maybe? The, the celestial stone is good. Increases damage, melee spe uh, speed, and critical strike. It also does life regeneration, defense, pick up speed, and minion knockback. But I might swap that out. Uh, should we swap it out? I'm not sure. Like, it's... Mm, minor increase of damage, melee speed, 3% increase, 3% damage, and the frostbite boots are definite yes, I'm going to have to have those. Mm, I'm just trying to think of the best things to swap out, maybe maybe the celestial cuffs for that. Oh, we've got the traveling merchant, hey, he's arrived the first time I come back to my world. The traveling merchant loves to be down here, don't know why, not sure why, he loves to spawn down here. I don't know, don't, don't ask me, I don't know, I don't know why. He is actually selling the Crimson Cloak, yes! That is a thing that we don't have. Beautiful. We actually have the Crimson Cloak now, let's look how cool that looks. Wait. Why is it not letting me swap it out? Oh, yeah, I remember. I remember, it, it's really weird. I don't know why, but you can't wear it, it's weird. Like, I'd imagine a Crimson Cloak you'd put in there, but for some reason you put it in there. And because we've got our, because we've got the dye on him, it, it makes it look so weird. But yeah, I don't know why you have to wear those as a vanity, like equipable of vanity. I don't know why you can't just wear it as a normal vanity because it's a, it's a, it's like a cloak, and a cloak's a vanity, right? So it's like a piece of clothing. So I'd imagine you'd wear it in the vanity, not the social vanity, uh, social equipped slot, but the actual social vanity slot, which is sort of what you, <laughs> what I'd expect to put there, but apparently not. Apparently not. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and shove that somewhere. We will put it, you know what? We'll put it in our brand new place where we actually start storing everything in 
uh, whoa, our recent endeavours. As you can see, it's very, very well organised. Well, not, not really, but it's got weapons. You've got all the different weapons here. It's all good. I mean, I do like it, like that format. I think it's quite cool, but I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I should have it in a better format, but there we go. Put the Crimson Cloak up there. We can trash that because we don't need it. We've got a fish, dirt fish. We don't really need that. I mean, we've got a load of junk in our inventory. Anyway, we're going to open these now. Beautiful. And we've got mana. Really? We've got mana potions. Are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding me right now? <laughs> really? We've got mana potions from mining potions as well. Not going to use them anyway. So we're just going to head out and hopefully, hmm, I don't know. Right, here we go. Let's see. Yeah, we've got a bit of room in there. Why not? I have messy chat. I need to sort them out one day really badly. Really, really badly need to sort them out. Right, so we should be set for our major loadout, right? Equipped. Yep, equipped. Okay, so now we should be OP. Well, not, not majorly OP, but I mean... Open enough to kill something. We'll go search for some plant terrors. Let's go. We do need to make some sort of like farm in here or something. Yeah, I think I'm gonna sit down and make some long pathways so that plant terror can spawn there. Because the more open areas and the more you have it, you know how it's all like messed up and clustered. If you have more open area, I think the plant terror spawns more there. And maybe I was thinking of contaminating some of the area as well into mushroom biomes so that we don't have to look at all this every time we come here. But there should be some plant terrors if we can look. Can't seem to find many. Oh, we've got a massive chunk of adamantite down there. That don't happen a lot to me. I don't know why. I don't seem to find that much adamantite normally. But apparently today... I have. And we found our first Plantera sitting on the edge. So we'll head over there now. And hopefully you guys are all doing well. It's been a bit of time since I posted this series. I will be posting a little bit more now. Because I do want to get back into this series a lot more. Since the new update is just around the corner. It could be a month away. It could be two months away. But I think I'm going to at least post two or three videos of these a week. Because, you know, I've got a lot of things to do to prepare, prepare for 1.3. A lot of things. Like... <laughs> a lot of things. Right, okay, cool. We should be able to reach it from this way, hopefully. Oh, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. We, we probably, we're probably not going to be able to, are we? You know what? We could just mine through it. <laughs> uh, I ain't got time to wait around. There we go. Right, we're almost there anyway. The world's not too big. Like I say, it's, it's, it's a large world, but it feels like I go so fast with the fish on wings. The fish on wings are very, very powerful, you see. So here we go. We'll see if we can kill our first planter. You know what? I don't know if I'm going to struggle because does that offer life regeneration? Yeah, it does, you see. See what I mean? So I don't know what to swap for this. Like, do I swap the frostbite boots, maybe? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I mean, I, I could try, but look, look, look how slow I go without them. See? I go so slow without them. And I don't know. I mean, I can fly around my wings. That's completely fine. But maybe we'll try without the frostbite boots. And then swap them back if we have any problems. Because normally I have a problem with mage. Maybe you can suggest me some things in the comments. That'd be awesome. Right, are we almost here? I swore... Oh, it's down here. I was going to say, I swore I saw a path down to it. And that's because there is. Yeah, here we go. Well, let's try this baby out. Well, it's not as powerful as what I thought it was going to be. I mean, it's not that powerful. The, the A lot of people say that's a good loadout and... I don't know, I'm not feeling it that much. I think I'm going to get killed here. Like, properly wrecked here. Well, we do have our uh, Vampire Knives 2 fall back on, which is quite good. But apart from that, I think I'm going to get wrecked here. I don't know. Maybe I'm not, maybe I am. But they do, like, go through blocks. That's good. Here we go. Here we go, guys. Got to get it ready now. There we are. Haven't killed a Plantera for a while, so I might be a bit rusty. But hopefully, we'll all be in shape as soon as you know it. Nah, Mana Flower's making it too weak, isn't it? I mean, we are holding our own up, but... Nah, I don't like the Blizzard staff too much. I think the Razor Pine might be a better loadout for... A better uh, option, sorry, for this. He's taking a lot of damage, though. I've got to say, the small amount that we have done to it has taken off quite a bit of damage. And you know, I haven't used any Mana Potions or Magic... I mean, haven't used any Magic Potions or anything like that. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not really liking it, to be fair. I'm going to just use the Vampire Knives and get it done with. <laughs> well, we do have the Flare on as well. So, I mean, yeah, that's a good thing. But I think we're going to die. Because we're in such a constricted area that's, that it's just going to go crazy on us, isn't it? Right, okay. Let's try and uh, go down here. Oh, I just used all my potions. No, I didn't need to use all of them. Oh, well. 
Okay, cool. Did it, did it, oh no, that don't use, uh, thingy potions, does it? Oh god, 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 we're gonna die here, aren't we? Can we look in our, no, we can't, we can't look in our inventory, I'm gonna die! No! First planter back and I've got absolutely destroyed. I need to get the razor point on this loadout, don't I? There we go, <laughs> I was slain by a seed. The one planter as well, I bet you any money, the one planter that we die on would have been the one that had the axe. Putting my money on it. Right, I don't know. Mage loadouts aren't for me, I don't think. Unless we can get a better mage loadout, as in we can get better stuff. I think I just play a lot better as a warrior. If you've been watching this series for a while, you know I do like my warrior loadouts. And uh, <laughs> playing as a warrior, because it's just so, so more fluent, I'd say. So much more fluent. There we go. Right, cool. we, we swapped the wrong one, haven't we? Yep. <laughs> go through that every day. Right, okay, let's swap that back out then. And then I'll show you how tank this is. I mean, honestly, I love the turtle stuff. A lot of people keep asking me to upgrade to beetle armor because it's better, but it doesn't give you the effect of what turtle does. Turtle does damage back to the attackers. So it's like thorns potion, basically. And yeah, that doesn't, anything else doesn't do that. So yeah, I've got to, you got to take that into account at the end of the day.